sets. Yeah, it really is. And especially for areas above about 6,500 feet, you're going to get hit the hardest. That does include Teller County, northern parts of El Paso County, as well as our southeastern mountains. What I'm telling you folks is some spots in those areas I just named could see as much as two feet of snow. Travel not recommended, not advised in those spots as you make our way into Thursday. Now let's talk about the timing of the storm. Rain and snow developing this afternoon, likely all snow, especially above 6,000 feet Thursday and Friday. This is going to bring major to extreme impacts. That includes difficult to impossible travel. I fully anticipate during the height of the storm that we will see school closures and road closures here into parts of southern Colorado. Let me show you the very latest winter weather alerts. Area shaded in pink and there's plenty of them. These are winter storm mornings. You can see for Teller County, it's gone into effect already. I think a little prematurely as we won't see the worst of this develop until the afternoon, but areas down south, these go into effect at 6 p.m. Continue through Friday night and this purple shaded area, eastern Fremont County, the spring central springs down to Pueblo. This is a winter weather advisory from midnight through midday Friday. Now this morning we're waking up to fairly comfortable temperatures. We like to call this the warm before the storm. Look at these numbers. 45 in Pueblo, 43 in Canyon City, 39 in the Springs. Area of low pressure intensifying to our west. Cold front now dropping through southern Colorado. That's associated with that surface low to our east. And this whole massive storm complex will continue to intensify, bringing us a prolonged period of snow as we make our way towards later today and into the day Thursday. Even throughout the day Friday, snow showers likely here in southern Colorado. So now this is the time to get stuff done through about early afternoon. By mid afternoon, the storm intensifies. Lots of instability means not only rain and snow, but thunderstorms, the potential for lightning and even some small hail for the I-25 quarter. I think for the springs, we're likely to transition to rain and snow as we head towards four or five this afternoon. So take a look at Futurecast. We're going to stop at around 515. You see the rain snow mix indicated by the either pink shaded area, the blue, which would be snow or the green, which would indicate rain. Notice how the rain and snow continues up and down the I-25 corridor late tonight, and then those snow levels drop down to around five to 6,000 feet by tomorrow morning. So for the eastern plains, still likely rain even into Thursday afternoon, but for Denver, Fort Collins, the Springs, even Pueblo, this is likely to become snow and there will be plenty of it on Thursday, even into Friday before the snow showers taper off as we head towards Friday night. These snow totals mind blowing, right? Think about that emoji. Look at these numbers, 20 to 30 inches in Woodland Park, 16 to 26 in Monument. This is why we're seeing no travel for folks in these areas for the next couple of days, 18 to 28 in Rye, 8 to 16 in the Springs. Highest amounts will be above 6,500 feet. Highs today, they're going to be relatively mild, especially in the Southeast Plains. We'll be cooling late this afternoon and dropping those highs down to near freezing in the springs. Look at that super seven day forecast Thursday to Friday, low to mid thirties and on top of snow, we're talking about wind gust up around 30 miles per hour. For Pueblo, I've got temperatures here going from 60 today to the upper thirties with rain and wet snow and gusty winds from Thursday to Friday. Canyon City weather alert beginning later this afternoon that continues through the end of the week with the bulk of the storm hitting tomorrow into early Friday and for Woodland Park. This is a serious situation, folks. Five out of five on the impact scale due to heavy snow and wind on Thursday. Snow that lingers into Friday before drier skies return this week.